Good evening, and welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi, a show about us, our people, our community, our culture, our experiences. And guys, guess what? Today in the studio, I have the beautiful, the talented, the Miss India Guyana Beauty Queen pageant winner of 2012, all the way from Guyana. She just stepped off the plane and came into the Let's Talk with Lakshmi studio, none other than the beautiful Miss Alana Sibaran. Alana, welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi. Thank you very much, Lakshmi. Miss India Guyana 2012. Alana Sibaran, 24 years old. Your choice for Miss India Guyana 2012. Well, I have to tell you, you are indeed beautiful. Thank you very much, so are you. Oh, thank you. You're tall, you're shaped like a model, very <laughs> nice posture, good skin, great smile, beautiful eyes. Thank so you So tell very me, much. were you born into this? Um, you know, I am so grateful for your compliments, you know, it makes me blush. But I really think that beauty does come from within, so okay. maybe it's just because I'm so thrilled to be on this journey. Maybe it's just shining through right now. And that's why, you know, as you said, you think that I have a great appearance. I think it's just the beauty from within shining through. Oh, wonderful. And she's humble too, guys. <laughs> so, Alana, tell me, tell me about growing up. I mean, as a little girl, you know, most of us little girls, we sit around, we play with our little dollies, comb their hair, dress them up. Did you ever think maybe dressing up your little dolly that one day you'd be dressing yourself up as a beauty queen? Never, never. Okay, so tell me, what was childhood like for Alana? Well, I loved my dolls. I was a girly girl. Okay. But at the same time, I grew up with three brothers. Hmm. So, um... You know, there were times when I had to put the dolls aside and suit up for race tracks and, you know, toy cars because my brothers all love racing. And, you know, it made me, I think, a more all-rounded person. Okay. Because um, I had that interaction with both, you know, girls and boys. So do you think it made you stronger or would you say you were a little tomboy? I definitely think it made me stronger. You know, growing up with three brothers, they just don't give you a break. <laughs> okay. So where in Guyana are you from, Alana? I'm from Georgetown. Okay. So where did you go to school? In Georgetown? Yes, I did. Okay. I went to Mays for primary school. And then I went to School of the Nations for a secondary. Now... Growing up in Guyana, in Georgetown, beautiful as you are, having three brothers, I mean, were they very overprotective of you? Um, as they got older, yes. Okay. They were. They were. So, how did you get into the beauty pageant? Um, you know, it was really just a spontaneous decision. Okay. And it felt like the right thing to do. And, you know, it, it worked out in my favor. And, um... It just, I took a step forward and never looked back, and it's been a thrill ever since. Awesome. Now, I know growing up in Guyana, sometimes, you know, the parents can be a little strict and may not want their children, especially girl children, to go out and to venture into things like this, you know, being on stage, whether it be dancing, singing, or a beauty pageant. I mean, how did your parents, you know, take to this or embrace it? Um... My parents really just tried to let me go out and experience things that I had interest in. Okay. Um, I'm more of a creative person. I have more of the artistic side. And I've been a dancer since I was 14. Awesome. What kind of dancing do you do? I do Indian dancing. Okay. What kind? Um, it just filmy. Okay. And kata, classical. Awesome. And so... Um, but since I was a little girl, they encouraged me, you know, intro, um, dancing has always been an interest for me. Mm -hmm. And they always, you know, if it's something that I let them know I was interested in, they pushed me in that direction. And I mean, if I was good at it, they let me fly with it. Now, where did you take training for classes? I have been a part of the Naya Zamana dance show for, I think, now probably seven years. Renowned Dance Academy in Guyana. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then from there, did you self-teach? Well, actually, then um, I went off to university in Canada. Okay. And I auditioned for a dance group in our school. It's called the SAA, South Asian Alliance. 
um, about 300 students auditioned for it and they did four types of dancing. Um, classical, which is Katak. Mm -hmm. They did filmy, hip hop, and bhangra. Hip hop and bhangra I wasn't too affiliated with. Okay. But I auditioned anyhow and I made the cut for 10 new members. And I did that for a year in my university. And then we, at the ending of that year, we all took part in a great um, event, which is called Culture Show. And a lot of students in Canada, they know about it because all mm -hmm. the universities, you know, it's something they look forward to, right. you know, from people of our background with, you know, Indian heritage. And um, we play second out of 16 universities. Congratulations. Thank you. It was, it was a great time. So, Alana, you grew up in Guyana. Yes. Then you went to university in Canada. Yes. But then you went back to Guyana. What made you go back to Guyana? Well, my family lives there. Okay. And uh, I always miss them. So, as soon as school closes, that's where I am, back at home with my parents and my brothers. So, your main purpose of going to Canada was just to study? Exactly. Okay. So, being, you know, crowned Miss. India, Guyana, Beauty Queen 2012. Yeah. What does that feel like? It feels amazing. So Alana, let's set the stage. We are all at Princess Hotel in Guyana, East Bank. And how many girls were competing? Nine. Okay, so <laughs> the nine of you are on stage. And they're about to call, what is it, first three, first five? This is the first five. Okay, so they're about to call the first five. They call Contestant number five. Mm -hmm. Contestant number four. Right. <laughs> contestant number three. Mm -hmm. Contestant number two. Right. Now, they're about to call contestant number one. Mm -hmm. Did you think at any moment your name was going to get called? Um, I knew that I put a lot of hard work into it. And it's something that I really wanted. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there was a piece of me that thought that that would come through and I would make it. And um, it did show, and I did. And the winner is Alana Sibaran. <laughs> How did you feel? I was in shock. I, I think that, I mean, of course, I was happy. I was just really, I was thrilled, but I was shocked because, you know, that was my moment. And I worked hard for it, and I earned it. And actually... We had a sashing ceremony okay. a few months before, and my opening, the opening line for my speech was, if you can dream something, then you can achieve it. And if you can imagine it, then you can become it. And that was the standard I set for myself, because I wanted it. And I saw myself standing there with a crown on my head at the end, at the end of the night. And it happened. So, you know, I would really say to anyone, if you want to go after something, set a standard for yourself, set a goal, and you go out there, you achieve it. And put no obstacles in the way because the only point that you can have an obstacle is when you have doubt in your mind. Leave no room for doubt. Awesome. Now let's go back to setting goals for yourself. What goals did you have to set for yourself? in order to achieve the crown of Miss India Guyana Beauty Queen? There were many. Mm -hmm. Pageantry, you know, it acquires a great amount of discipline. There are four segments in the Miss India pageant. Okay. That would be Indian and evening wear, as well as talent, and your final question. What was your talent? My talent was dancing. Okay, what'd you dance? I did um, a classical piece. Okay. As well as a filmy 
dance, who's that, who's that girl? <laughs> Ooh, who's that girl? Okay. Um, and what was your question? State three attributes which, in your opinion, best describes an empowered woman. Your time's up. Good evening, everyone. I believe that an empowered woman is made up of compassion, strength, and vulnerability. I believe that this is what a woman consists of because these are all things that help her to be nurturer and without a woman, we would not be because the hand that rocks the cradle rocks the world. Thank you. My question was, what three attributes do you feel an empowered woman should have? And what was your answer? I said that she should be compassionate, mm -hmm. strong, and vulnerable to some extent. Do you think you're all of these qualities? Yes, I do. Okay. I do. And I also said that, you know, a woman should consist of these qualities because that's what makes her a nurturer, and we are all from of a woman, and the hand that rocks the cradle rocks the world. So, you know, that, from my point of view, is what an empowered woman is. Now, growing up in Guyana, living in Guyana currently, and we're talking about empowered women, Yeah. you know, do you feel there are a lot of empowered women in Guyana? And part two of that, well, answer that part first. Do you feel that there are a lot of empowered women in Guyana? I think that, just like anywhere else in the world, there are going to be some women who have access to some amount of more knowledge, you know, better finances, and that can help them to be more all-rounded women. And give them that sense of independence which maybe makes them stronger whereas there are women who don't have access to going to school and knowledge, building that knowledge. Women from poverty and maybe that does lower their self-esteem and makes them not as strong. So I think that it's like this all over the world. So in Guyana, I think we are pushing for our women to be more educated and from that they can attain better jobs as they get older and see themselves as being more independent and strong. So I think that our current situation, we're getting there gradually, but we are accomplishing it. Do you think that women in Ghana that are becoming empowered or trying to become empowered face difficulties? Like let's say if they're in a, an abusive home or an abusive relationship and they're trying to get out of that, do you think that they're empowered enough to do something like that or go out and seek the help? I think that it's all about who you're surrounded by. Okay. Maybe if they have a strong um, foundation of family and friends, maybe that does make it easier, somebody that you can talk to. And I know that Guyana does provide this for women who don't have that foundation. But you know, I think to each its own, and every woman probably has a different story. Right. And um, the path that we go down, it's just a matter of choice. And it's a matter of how strong you make yourself. We're all weak to some extent. But you know, it's not something that can't be overcome. Right. So you know, for those who do have a difficult time, there is help out there.